This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. We all didn't think it was like real until we heard the gunshot. The St. Louis community marking a somber remembrance today. I said, hey, hey, hey. No sooner as I said that, he immediately aimed that AR-15 at me and shot at me. It's been one year since Central VPA was the scene of a shocking school shooting that left student Alexandria Bell and teacher Jean Kuska dead. I'm in pain because my city is in pain. This morning, we take a look at the school security changes in the aftermath and how to offer comfort to your kids as they seek answers. Hearts are heavy this morning in the St. Louis community as we all remember the horrific school shooting from one year ago today. We know that classes are canceled this morning at Central Visual Performing Arts High School so the community in the school can heal. Um, we do want to thank you for joining us on this Tuesday morning. We're going to get you updated with weather and traffic in just a few minutes. But first, we do want to bring you team coverage from Central VPA. Our Alex Fees joins us with how parents can help their kids cope with pain. But we begin with our Mercedes McKay, who explains how the school is showing support for families this morning. Mercedes? Rennie and Michelle, the shooting here at Central Visual and Performing Arts High School one year ago today changed this community forever. We all felt it. Now, St. Louis Public Schools administrators, teachers, and students, it's a day they'll never forget. For, forget. And personally, as a journalist for me, it's a day I'll also never forget. Today, St. Louis Public Schools will hold a day of remembrance for student Alexandria Bell and teacher Jean Kushka, who were shot and killed that day. Classes are canceled at CVPA in the Collegiate School of Medicine and Bioscience in honor of it. I spoke with Raekwon Strickland, who was a senior when the shooting happened. We got to know Raekwon well as he stepped up for his class and organized several events after the tragedy. He shared how it has taught him to appreciate life. It helped me to realize that you cannot take life for granted because so many people don't realize how life can truly flash before your eyes. It helps you appreciate people. It helps you appreciate the loved ones because you never know when your last is your last. Less than 24 hours ago, the St. Louis police released this update on social media about the school shooting investigation. The department says it has been an extensive investigation, but they are close to wrapping it up and will release all the information once they are finished. Mayor Tashara Jones made these remarks about the somber milestone. I'm always thinking of the people who we lost uh, to that tragedy, uh, to those families. But also, I uh, want to reiterate to our children that it's only been a year and it's still okay not to be okay. Since this tragedy one year ago today, several security things have changed here at the school and St. Louis Public Schools put millions of dollars to add new security measures in place. I'll break all those down in our next half hour. Live in South City, Mercedes McKay, five on your side. All right, thank you, Mercedes. This morning, our Central VPA team coverage is continuing as a grieving community reflects and remembers what happened one year ago. Our Alex Fees joins us. He's also on location live with ways to cope with the heartbreak and steps to take towards being, getting better. Alex? Rennie and Michelle, as members of the community here, remember student Alexandria Bell and teacher Jean Kushka. It can be a difficult time for, for kids, even adults, to navigate their grief at a time like this. So how do we go about reassuring children on this occasion one year later? Counselors say it becomes more real when children know it happened close to home. Washington University child psychologist Dr. Neha Navsarya says the most important thing is to have ongoing conversations with kids and make sure we're making space for them to validate their emotions, connect with their feelings about this and make sure they understand this is something that is real and it's okay to be fearful about it. Ongoing conversations are extremely important. You want to have your child be aware that you are an emotional resource. So even if you open up the conversation and they might not say anything initially, they know that they can come back to you with those thoughts. 
Now coming up at our next half hour at 6.30, what words to use, uh, exactly what to say to reassure children on an occasion like this. Live this morning in South City, Alex Fees, Five on Your Side. Alex, this morning we are hearing more stories from survivors. Ahead in 10 minutes, we have an exclusive interview with the Dean of Students, whose son was among those shot inside the school one year ago today. We're staying on top of this story all day here on Five on Your Side, so be sure to have your app downloaded to your phone for the latest information. All right, let's take a uh, break here from that cover to talk about our weather. And this morning we are waking up with dry weather in and around St. Louis, but we have an area of low pressure coming in from Oklahoma. This is the remnant of a hurricane that actually made landfall in Mexico from the Pacific, and it's drifting this way. So we'll have clouds to start the day and eventually some showers. These should be light showers through parts of the day, and not everybody will see the rain. The bulk of it will stay across western Missouri, but we will have a few showers drift into our area like what's happening right now across parts of Reynolds County. The first shower starting to lift north, so you'll get a few sprinkles, maybe a light shower this afternoon and evening. We turn mostly cloudy today, but temperatures still warm out the door with 60s and highs today near 80 degrees. Once again, we'll talk about more rain to come the next few days. That is coming up in a few minutes. Let's get over to Paul now. I looked over to the computer, and saw some flashing lights. What's going on on the roads? Yeah, hey, hey, take your eyes off my mind, okay? <laughs> we do have uh, an issue out there, 55 northbound, 55 at Richardson. No injuries here, but a lot of flashing lights, as Anthony mentioned there. This is the traffic story. If you're hitting the door in the next 20 minutes and you're in that area, it's actually 55 southbound where you're going to see this uh, disabled tractor trailer going northbound. The other part of the story, that's where most of your volume is and usually goes that direction. So we're going to continue to investigate that one. It's what you're seeing right here at the bottom of the map in Arnold, 55 southbound at Richardson. Otherwise, it's just about construction this morning and newer areas of construction, which would mean a bigger cone and could cause more of a delay. Same story. This is near the airport departures and arrivals still dealing with repay so some lanes close throughout the week. We'll have another take on traffic just a few minutes away, Rennie. New overnight, St. Louis police are working to learn who broke into a South City dispensary. It happened around 1.30 this morning at Area 51 Smoke Shop on Gravoy. You could see the thieves broke the glass window on the outside of the business. Now, our photographer spoke with the owner on the scene who said between five and $600 was stolen from the register and paraphernalia was also taken. A witness who called 911 says he's now worried about his safety in the area. Shouldn't be happening in this neighborhood. Shouldn't be happening anywhere. Uh, a little bit scared. Scared to, you know, have, you know, family in the house, pets in the house. The witness says he was frustrated with the lack of urgency when he called 911. He says it took him three and a half minutes to get through to dispatch. The owner tells us he does not know if the store will open for business today. Well, coming up, a frozen custard stand in Jefferson County catches fire overnight. What firefighters believe sparked those flames in Crystal City. Demanding answers after evictions. Why neighbors in Brentwood were quickly kicked out of their homes and the meeting happening later tonight. And as we go to break, a live look at City Park where it is all quiet this morning. But man, that place is going to be rocking on Sunday night. That's when the City SC plays its first ever MLS playoff game. We'll have more on that throughout the week, but what a sight that is right now. 